Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Recent Jobs. In today's video, we will discuss Python interview questions. Whether you are preparing for your first tech job or looking to brush up on essential Python skills, this video will cover some of most commonly asked questions in interview. We will cover a range of topics from basic syntax to more advanced concepts. We know that Python is known for its simplicity and readability, but interviewers often look for a deep understanding of how things work. We will not only go through common questions but also explain the reasoning behind the answers, helping you build a strong foundation. Let's start with some fundamental questions. What is Python? Python is a high level object oriented programming language with objects, modules, traits, exceptions and automatic memory management. It is a simple but powerful programming language. It can run equally on different platforms such as Windows, Linux, Unix and many more. Overall, we can say that Python is a portable language. What is PEP8 and why is it important? PEP stands for Python Enhancement Proposal. It provides guidelines and best practices for writing Python code. It covers various aspects of code style such as indentation. We use four spaces for indentation level and we use clear and descriptive names for variables and functions and we use spaces around operators and after commas. Simply we can say that PEP defines set of guidelines that tells us how to write Python code properly. Following PEP 8 is important because it ensures consistency and readability across Python code bases making it easier for developers to understand and collaborate on projects. It's a small step that makes a big difference in Python community. What are list and tuples? What is the key difference between the two? List and tuples are both sequence data types that can store a collection of objects in Python. The objects stored in both sequences can have different data types. Let's discuss list and tuple in brief. List. A list is a mutable, ordered collection of items. This means you can change, add or remove elements after the list is created. Syntax. Lists are defined using square brackets. Coming to tuple. Tuple is exactly same as list except that it is immutable. That is, once we create tuple object, we cannot perform any changes in that object. Syntax, tuples are defined using parentheses. But what is the real difference between the two? The key difference between the two is that while lists are mutable, on the other hand, tuples are immutable objects. This means list can be changed, updated, removed. But tuples remain constant, can't be modified. Let's understand with an example. Creating a list. Here, we create a list named subject containing three elements, Java, Python and SQL. Accessing elements. We access the first element of list using its index 0. Changing element. We change the second element of list from Python to JavaScript. If we want to add an element, we use append method to add a new element. If we want to remove an element, we use remove method to delete element from the list. Tuples. Example, num equals to 10, 20, 30. Here, we created a tuple name num containing three elements 10, 20 and 30. We can access the element by using its index. Tuples are immutable, meaning we cannot change their elements after creation. Trying to do so will raise a type error. What is the use of self in Python? Self is used to represent instance of a class. With this keyword, you can access attributes, methods of the class in Python. Self is used in different places, often thought to be a keyword. But unlike in C++, self is not a keyword in Python. Always remember that self is the first parameter of any instance method in a class. What are break, continue and pass statements in Python? The break statement is used in loops such as for or while loop to immediately terminate the loop and exit its execution. It's commonly used to execute a loop prematurely based on certain condition. In this example, we have for loop that iterates over the number from 0 to 4. Inside the loop, there is an if statement that checks if current value of i is equals to 3. If i is equals to 3, then break statement is executed and terminating the loop immediately. Otherwise, the value of i is printed. Continue. The continue statement also used in loops. When encountered, it stops the current iteration of the loop and proceed to next iteration. Unlike break, it does not exit the loop entirely, it just skips the remaining code within the current iteration. Here, 
continuous statement is used when i value is equals to 2 then control statement skips remaining code in current iteration and proceed to next iteration as a result the value 2 is not printed pass the pass keyword is used as a placeholder in python it does not perform any action it's just a way to create an empty function that can be filled later in this example my function doesn't do anything but you can add code inside the function body what is the difference between mutable and immutable data types mutable data types are those whose values can be changed after they are created while immutable data types are those whose value cannot be changed after they are created let's discuss in brief mutable data types can be edited meaning their values can change during runtime examples include list dictionaries and set for example you can change elements in a list add or remove items from a dictionary or change the values of the elements in a set immutable data types cannot be edited meaning that their values cannot change once they are created examples include strings tuples and frozen set for example you cannot change the characters in a string change elements in a tuple or alter the items in a frozen set after they have been created what is the difference between set and dictionary set a set is an unordered collection of unique elements it is iterable mutable and does not allow duplicate elements sets are created using curly braces and elements are separated by commas set are primarily used for mathematical operations like union intersection difference etc coming to dictionary a dictionary is an unordered collection of key value pairs it is iterable and mutable but does not allow duplicate keys dictionaries are created using curly braces with key value pairs separated by colon and individual pairs separated by commas dictionaries are often used to store data in the form of key value pairs where each value is accessed by its corresponding key unlike set dictionaries have a specific association between keys and values making them useful for representing structured data what is list comprehension give an example list comprehension is a concise syntax in python it is used to create list from existing iterables or sequences it provides an easy and readable way to generate list in single line of code for example my list equals to i for i in range of 1 to 10 this line of code generates a list containing numbers from 1 to 9 it iterates over a range from 1 to 10 excluding 10 and appends each number to the list List comprehension can also include conditions like even numbers equals to i for i in range of 1, 10 if i percentile by 2 equals to equals to 0. This code creates a list of even numbers by filtering out odd numbers from the range. How is exception handling done in Python? Exception handling in Python is managed primarily through three keywords try, accept, and finally. Coming to try block, this is where you put the code that might raise an exception. It's like a test zone. If an error occurs in this block, Python looks for an accept block to handle it. Coming to accept block, this block catches and handles exception that occurs in the try block. Coming to finally block, this block is optional. It is used for cleanup activities that should be executed regardless of whether an exception occurred or not. For example, closing file or releasing a network connection. Here is a simple example. The try block attempts to execute the code that is 10 divides by 0, which raises a 0 division error. The accept block catches this exception and print a message. Then, regardless of this exception, the finally block prints a cleanup message. Differentiate between list and tuple. List Mutability Lists are mutable, meaning that their elements can be changed after the list is created. Memory Conception List consume more memory compared to tuples due to their mutable nature. Performance List are better for performing operations like insertion and deletion because they can be modified in place. Iteration Iterating through list might be slower, especially with large data set, due to their mutable nature and potential resizing. Coming to tuple Immutability Tuples are immutable, meaning that their elements cannot be changed after the tuple is created. Memory Conception Tuples consume less memory compared to list because they are immutable. Accessing elements. Tuples are appropriate for accessing elements directly because of their immutability. 
Iteration. Iterating through tuples is generally faster than list, especially with large data set due to their immutable and fixed size. Both list and tuples have their advantages and use cases. List are preferred when you need a collection of items that can change over time. While tuples are useful when you want to ensure data integrity and prevent accidental modifications. What is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy? A shallow copy creates a new object but shares reference to nested object. Changes in nested object affects the original. Shallow objects are faster to create and use less memory compared to deep copy. Now we will discuss deep copy. A deep copy creates a new object and recursively creates copies of nested object. So changes made to be nested object will not affect the original object. These are slower than shallow copies. What are the different ways to iterate over a list in Python? You can iterate over a list using for loop, list comprehension and by using enumerate function. For example, this loop iterates to each item in my list and print item. Coming to list comprehension, it provides a concise way to create a new list by applying an expression to each element in an existing list. In above example, my list represents original list. This expression x multiplied by 2 is applied to each element x. The result of this expression becomes an element in the new list. Coming to enumerate function, the enumerate function pairs each element of a list with its index number. In the above example, this loop iterates to my list providing both index and corresponding item. What is the difference between equality operator and is operator in Python? The equality operator compares the values of two objects. It checks whether the content of object is same. If value are equal, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Coming to is operator, the is operator checks whether two object refers to same memory location. It does not compare values, instead it compares identity. Let's understand with this example, given two list A and B, print of A equals to equals to B, it returns true because values are same in list A and B. Print of A is B, it returns false because they are in different objects. What is a decorator in Python? A decorator is a design pattern in Python that allows you to change the behavior of a function or class. It is implemented using functions or classes that wrap other functions or classes. Decorators are commonly used for logging, authentication and memorization in Python. What is lambda function in Python? A lambda function is a small anonymous function that defined using the lambda keyword. It can take any number of arguments but only one expression. Lambda functions are commonly used for short and simple operation. Let's understand with an example. The line add equals to lambda x comma y colon x plus y defines a lambda function called add. Lambda function takes two arguments x and y. Inside the function, it adds x and y together using plus operator. When you call add of 2 comma 3, it substitutes x with 2 and y with 3, resulting in 2 plus 3 equals to 5. Therefore, the output of print add of 2 comma 3 is given as 5. What is a generator in Python? A generator is a special type of iterator in Python that generates values on the fly using yield keyword. Unlike list, generators don't load the entire dataset into memory making them suitable for large dataset and lazy iteration. Example, suppose you have large dataset and you want to process it without loading everything into memory. You can create a generator function that yields each value as you iterate over the dataset. This way, you process data efficiently. How does Python's garbage collection work? Python's garbage collector automatically deallocates memory for objects that are no longer referenced. It uses reference counting and cyclic garbage collector to reclaim memory. Reference counting keeps track of number of references to an object. When count drops to zero, the object is deallocated. The cyclic garbage collector identifies and collects cyclic references that can be detected by reference counting. What is the purpose of init method in a class? The init method is a constructor that is automatically called when a new instance of a class is created. It initializes the attributes of the object. What is lambda function in Python? A lambda function is a small anonymous function that defined using the lambda keyword. It can take any number of arguments but only one expression. Lambda functions are commonly used for short and simple operation. 
What is slicing in Python? Python slicing is about obtaining a substring from the given string by slicing it respectively from start to end. Syntax start, stop and step where start is the starting index, stop is the ending index or where to stop and step is number of steps to jump. Slicing can be done on strings, arrays, list and tuples. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and good luck with your interview preparation. See you in the next video.